Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the whole four elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a brief lesson, uh, land backing um, off of a live stream that the beloved brothers out of Memphis. Uh, did last night. I'm actually going to show a short clip um, of what the brothers were getting into. They were going into Matthew 19, and you know the brothers were bringing it out, man. And you know the spirit hopped on me um, to get into a lesson, you know, inspiration, you know, through the Holy Spirit uh, to pretty much speak on uh, the same topic uh, regarding their lesson, and it was entitled um, "You Ready to Lose It All for the Lord, Man." You know, and that's a question that, you know, first and foremost, you know, us men, you know, that have been, um, you know, called to, you know, do this mighty work, you know, and come in the, coming in the authority, uh, you know, of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, you know, the true names um, of the God of the Bible and his only begotten son. You know, this is a question, you know, this is part of examining, uh, examining ourselves you know are we truly ready you know to give it all up you know when the time comes uh, when persecution will come in will come into its perfection you know and the question the answer to that question should be yeah you know it should be it should be hell yeah you know why because you know we've been uh, opened up you know to the understanding of what Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai has in store for us man you know, we understand the promises and, you know, the reward, you know, that comes with, uh, you know, giving our body as a living sacrifice for Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You know, so, you know, Abarat is our, you know, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is, you know, dealing with us uh, when the time comes uh, where, 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 you know, where some of us are going to have to make that, that ultimate sacrifice, man. You know, and that's giving up this body, man, you know, through being a mortar, you know, and Abarat is out, you know, we'll have the spirit on us like Stefan did, you know, you can read about Stefan uh, in the book of Acts uh, 6 and 7, you know, where he was persecuted, you know, by Jake, you know, they set up a false counsel against him, you know, false witnesses, they lied on him, you know, and ultimately stoned him, man. You know, but towards the end, well, at the end of Act 7, it goes into how, you know, while he was being stoned, he's seen Yahweh Shai, you know, standing on the on the right hand uh, of Yahweh. And he fell asleep. You see, so, you know, you can uh, pretty much come to a conclusion that he, he didn't feel anything, man. You know, he was, he was shown mercy by Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You know, and Lord willing, you know, those of us that have to play that role, you know, pursuing the Revelations 20 and 4, you know, we're, we're able to uh, be comforted, you know, by the Holy Spirit. So through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, the first scripture I want to grab before we grab that short clip <clears throat> is Revelations, the 20th chapter. And the, uh, let me see here. The sixth verse, right? Because, you know, ultimately, you know, even, you know, pursuing the first Thessalonians four, you know, even if we are mortared, hey, <laughs> if we're part of the elect, we're going to take part in the first resurrection, which is what you want to take part of. You want to be part of that, um, that first resurrection, man. You know, you being part of the first resurrection, you also escape. 
the second death, which is going to come in the form of these ICBM missiles, man. And the chariots of the Lord zapping these people to powder, man. You know, we don't want anything to do with that. You know? But we want everything to do with this. Let's get this. Revelations 20 and 6 and it reads, Blessed and holy, right? Blessed and separate, right? Because holy goes into separate. Is he that hath part in the first resurrection. Why? Why, Lord? On such the second death have no power, right? The second death, which is what? When the Lord, again, nukes this place, man. With those intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. Turning Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, the daughter of Babylon, into a lake of fire. And also, other areas of the earth are going to get hit as well. Jerusalem's definitely going to get hit. Where those small hats have completely contaminated the Holy Land, man. Okay? But they shall be priests of Yahweh and of Mashayak and shall reign with him a thousand years, man. In this thousand year period of us reigning with Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, is going to consist of, you know, first and foremost, yeah, Yahweh Shai, uh, you know, the 12 disciples, King David, you know, and the 144,000 men. Okay, which makes up the governing body. Okay, Lord willing, we're, we're one of those men. You know, one of us, Akiyam, um, are gonna reestablish uh, righteousness on the planet Earth, man. Okay, this is a time where justice and judgment is going to be being executed. Okay, and this is also going to be the time of the erecting, okay, of the kingdom of heaven, man. You see, where these heathen, okay, starting with Esau, Edom. The so-called white man and these other heathen in the form of the elite of their elites are going to be building up the kingdom, man. You see? And we're going to be establishing uh, justice and judgment, you know, upon the planet Earth, man. And it's going to be a thousand year process. And the one third, the, the, the rest of the one third, you know, the innumerable, innumerable multitude, they're going to be on the scene as well. You see that one third, the rest of that one third, they're going to be on the scene. You know, and Abba Rathazah, you know, we're part of the elect, man, to be able to take part of this, man. But we understand it's going to come with uh, enduring, which enduring to endure goes into suffer. We're going to have to suffer uh, temptation. You know, we're going to have to suffer uh, ultimately in its perfection, uh, the hour of temptation, man. You know, but Abba Rathazah. You know, the Holy Spirit's resting upon us. We were able to resist this man, man. You know, we were able to resist this man in his in his uh, MOTB, which is in the form of that micro uh, CHIP, you know, which has become uh, clear and evident that it's that. You know, as time goes on and this man uh, continues to, uh, you know, spew his madness, and boast in his science and technology It's becoming clear what they want to do And that's link man uh, With technology, okay In the form of this grain of rice Okay, which Which is uh, the mark of the B-E-A-S-T You can read about In uh, Revelations 13 and 16 But, you know, sticking to the point You know, that's what we're going to have to resist In this perfection, man You know, because that's going to come with you um, You know, being killed You know, as it says in uh, Revelations 13 and I believe that's uh, uh, 14 or 15, you know, which pretty much goes into us being ostracized and uh, ultimately, literally, you know, again, pursuing to Revelations 20 and 4, you know, but, you know, through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, you know, Lord willing, we're able to, uh, you know, endure all this temptation. But let me grab this clip real quick from the beloved brothers, uh, which inspired me. Um, you know, to get into this lesson through the Holy Spirit. It's about two minutes. Uh, there's a clip out of this section I want to play. Uh, you know, that, you know, <laughs> if you're in the spirit, you're going to feel this. This is Matthew chapter 19 and 18. Go ahead. Oh, I started. This is all I'm saying. You got to get that meat. You know what I Get that meat off that thing. I started 16. Okay. He said, and behold, one come and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Right. And he said unto him, 
why callest me good? There is none good but one that is that that is Yahweh. But if thou would enter into life, keep the commandments. You see that? The law of statute command is going back to Judges 5 and 11. Yeah. As we rehearse it. See, this is what it is right now. See, the Lord so called, He gives us a great period to what? To rehearse. Right. Y'all need to practice. Right, right, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. The Lord so called, practice on being good. Right. You know, that's what you'll tell your son and your daughter. Yeah. Practice on being good. And then you practice on being good, it's going to become natural. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's exactly what it's saying. All right? Because what? Practice make what? Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. All right? Because we're going to be perfect what? In the kingdom of heaven. But as us rehearsing, it brings more favor in the sight of Yahweh by Shema That's all, just more favor. You got it all. Verse 18 in Matthew chapter 19. He said unto him, Which Yahweh Shah said, Thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, uh -huh. thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness. Verse 19. Oh, uh, that's in the law, eh? Yep. Go ahead. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Right. Go ahead. And the young man said unto him, All these things I have kept. He said, you know, he said, All these things I kept from, from what? From a new thought, right? Mm -hmm. That shit that ain't nothing. I've been doing that. That ain't nothing to me. Go ahead. What lack I yet? Yahweh Shah said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, and go and sell that thou hast and give to the poor uh oh and thou shalt have treasure in heaven uh oh and come and follow me uh oh hey we got we got three four uh examples when you dealing with rappers right Kodak Black yeah I'm an Israelite my diamonds bright I woo 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 yeah Big, big, what happened to that nigga? Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon, that's that too? Hey, Ice, Ice Cube. Hey, S3? Yep. Uh, 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 what's that nigga? Uh, I'm not, I'm not black no more, but it's like Kendrick Lamar. 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 See, all these, all these examples. Nigga had a chance. Nigga, nigga had a chance, brother. Come on and stop everything they were doing in the world and make that sacrifice that came on to the truth. Yeah. But what them niggas do though? Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> yeah. Man, Nick, Nick went and let the uh, let the goddamn Amalekites goddamn bless him or something, man. And that's, he came back even stronger. He, he ain't no telling what all that motherfucker did. He came back more wicked. <laughs> he had to give him a donation and everything. Gave a nigga a TV show. I'll tell you, man. They failed, though. He failed, failed a mission. Failed. But that's, a, that's an example right there. You know? You know, all they had to do was give it all up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It started all over again. Come on, brother. The Lord said it's an easy thing to make a poor man rich. Yep. Them niggas could have got all that shit back. Yep. If they would have sacrificed that. You know what I'm saying? But what they do? Yep. They fail the mission. Yep. And we can't do we can't be like them niggas, man. That's right. Alright? We gotta be like you have a shot. It is finished. That's right. You know? You got it out. Yep. That's it. That's it, man. Hey. See? They failed the mission, man. Hey, these rappers that, that claim to be Israelites, man. Yeah, Nick Cannon, they named them Kendrick Lamar, uh, Kodak Black, so on and so forth, man. They couldn't give it all up. And then that's what separates. See, that's what separates, you know, those of us that are, uh, you know, rich in faith versus those that are just seeing this thing as another um, movement in the, in the Israelite uh, community, man. You know, consisting of us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Nah, this is not a fad that's going to come and go. No. Okay? This is something that's literally um, causing things to happen on the planet Earth. And we cannot be like those niggas, man, that failed, man. You know, that, that failed the mission. You know, because this is what we're on. We're on a mission. You no, know, we're just passing through, man. You see, and what they couldn't do, they couldn't endure temptation, man. Going back to that enduring temptation, they couldn't do it. You see, let's grab this, the book of James. I posted this on their comment board right here. The spirit moved me to get this. Right, so let's go here. James 1. After I posted this preset, the, the spirit started working, the spirit started moving. Spirit started moving. I'm like, ah, I felt that inspiration. And you, you Aki, I know what it is. Right? James 1 and 12, and it reads, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, man. And again, to endure goes into suffer. 
And when you get this, when you get this word, let's go here real quick. Let's get this word temptation real quick. Strong's G, 3986, Pyrasmas. Pyrasmas. Right, when you get this word temptation, it goes into what? An experiment, right? Attempt, right? Trial, proving, okay? Let's see, trial proving, right? The trial made of you uh, by mind, bodily condition. Uh, since condition served as the test, the love of the Galatians to Paul. Uh, let me see. Galatians 4 and 14. Ka'ala, la yam la yaha wa bashim yaha shai 144. Uh, here we go. The trial of a man's fidelity, integrity, virtue, and cons constancy. Right? Towards who? Yaha wa bashim yaha shai. Check this out. There's more, right? An enticement to sin. Right. Temptation. Right. And that enticement to sin. Hey. When we're offered, when we're offered that uh, that idol, okay. <laughs> when we're when we're offered that idol, man. Which is what that grain of rice, that MOTB. That's gonna be the hour of temptation, man. And you let them climb up inside you with that. You're pledging allegiance to Esau, man. And that's a capital offense, man. We're gonna have to uh, endure. We're gonna have to resist that. And again, he's going to weaponize the food and your living condition. So that temptation is going to be real. Check this out. Um, a, an enticement to sin, temptation, whether arising from the desires or from outward circumstances, right? This fourth industrial revolution that they're conjuring up. An internal temptation to sin, right? Uh, I've seen it by the devil start to divert. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, look at this. The last one and C, right? Temptation, right, of the Most High by men. Uh, rebellion against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, by which his power and justice are, as it were, put to the proof. Put to the proof, right? And challenged to show themselves, man. This is, hey, this is what it's going to come down to. You see, we're going to be proved, man. And that's the spirit. Let me get a preset real quick before we go back to that, James. Let's get this in Sarak real quick. So we got to be proven, man. We're going to be hey, we're gonna be put through the fire like gold. It's all through the scriptures. Uh, where do I want to go? Sarak 24. Sarak 24, and I believe it's 24. The book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sarak. Chapter 24 and verse 24, and it reads, Faint not to be strong in the Lord. Right? What's it mean to be faint? To grow weak, man. Hey, when, when this trouble comes, we can't grow weak. What's that? 2 Timothy 1. Yeah, how about you? I didn't give us the spirit of fear, man. But of a sound mind, right? Faint not to be strong in the Lord that he may confirm you. You see, we got. Hey, we're gonna have to be confirmed, man. Battle tested, right? Cleave unto Him, for the Lord Almighty is God alone, and beside Him there is no other Savior besides the one He's sending. Okay, which just comes in the form of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, the Redeemer, man. See, and this is something we understand. This this precept right here will confuse uh, an individual that's you know that don't got the spirit on him. You know, like a wacky tacky Christian. But anyways, sticking to the point. Hey, we're going to have to be confirmed, man. Abba Roth is out. We can endure. Let's go back to that. James. James 1 and 12 from the top. And it reads, blessed is the man that endureth temptation, man. And again, that temptation is going to come in a variety of ways. You know, our family, our careers, you know, our personal achievements, goals. Um, you know, other aspects of life, you know, we're going to be tempted by these things, man. Prior to that, uh, temptation, that our temptation, man, which is going to be us being tempted, uh, in its perfection, right? For when he is tried, he shall receive 
the crown of life. And this is what we hope to receive by the hands of Yahweh Shai himself. Second Ezra is the second chapter, the crowning ceremony, Abarat is we can take part of, right? Which the Lord has promised to them that love him, man. So, this, hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai promised this, man. To those that love him, though. You see? Those that love him. You got these wacky, tacky Christians talking about they love the Lord. Hey, but they honor, they, they honor him and worship him with their lips. But they don't do what he says to do, though. In action, they don't show that he loves them, man. What scripture say? If you love me, keep my commandments. What did, he tell, what did he say to Simon Peter three times, which three goes into understanding? If you love me, feed my sheep. <laughs> you see that? So there's requirements, man. Proving that you love the Lord. And ultimately, hey, giving your body as a living sacrifice, man. Is going to truly prove if you are... Uh, if you love Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. That's gonna prove, that's gonna be the ultimate test. You see, because hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is a man of his word, man. You know? And as long as we can endure what we're being tried with, again, all manners of uh situations are gonna come up. As a matter of fact, speaking of Peter, this is why when you go to Matthew, let's go to Matthew 19, where the beloved brothers were reading out of. And I'm gonna go down. You Aki Yamanaka know where I'm going. Right when uh, Peter when he inquired of what they're gonna receive after doing all this for Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, right? Check this out, Matthew nineteen and seven, in Matthew nineteen and twenty seven, and it reads, "Then answered Peter and said unto unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What should we have therefore?" And Yahweh Shai said unto them, "Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me." In the regeneration, right, which goes into reincarnation, okay, Vokal Malone, and you wacky tacky Christians that just can't get it. When the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And every one, here's the point, and every one that hath forsaken houses, see? Because, hey, you having property and stuff, that's a temptation, man, that you wouldn't want to let go. You wouldn't want to give that up. Hey, that, hey, there's brothers that got houses, man, and got land, you know, and got property, that own property. You see, hey, that's going to have to be given up in the days to come, right? Or brethren, or sisters, or, uh, or family, or mother, or wife, or children, right? Family, man. And you know Jake is family-oriented. Jake is very family-oriented. Family Regardless of how Esau, Edom, the so-called white man has, uh, you know, plastered, um, you know, Israelite, you know, families being, you know, uh, no good, broken down, and, and, you know, the father being no good. Hey, this is, it's because he created that society, he created that situation, Esau, Edom, you know, with woman libs and uh, all manners of uh, support that he's given the woman to allow her to play the harlot and turn her back on her man. You see? But in the, in, 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 the, in, the, in the perfect world, uh, for lack of better words, um, you know, naturally, you know, Jake, you know, Jake is tight knit. You know, Jake is family oriented, man. And you can see that when you read the scriptures. And you will come to that understanding of how our forefathers got down. But anyways, right. Check this out. All lands going back into that property, you know, um, for my name's sake, right? For for Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai's name's sake, and remember, back in that second Ezra, the second chapter, it goes into those um, that stood so stiffly. Why? For the name of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. You see, so this is heavy, man. We understand. Hey, the the the, the, Lord, the word of the Lord is so powerful. He puts His words over His name, man. That's heavy. You see, but sticking to the point. Right. For my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Immortality, man. One of the promises. OK, that, 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 that the God of the Bible and his only begotten son promised us, man. Everlasting life. Immortality, man. New bodies. Perfect bodies, man. But many that are first shall be last. 
and the last shall be first, right? And then Esau, Edom, the so-called white man's society, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are at the bottom of the bottom. And there's nothing under us, man. Therefore, qualifying us to be set up on high, man. To be set up first. Starting with the elect. You see that turn from transgression and Jacob, man. <laughs> hey, what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has prepared for us, man, we can't even fathom it, man. We can't even fathom, and the scriptures go into that. We can't even fathom what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has in store for us, man. This is why, hey, we got nothing to lose, man. We're better off just locking in and taking what we got to endure. You know, until the very, very end. First Corinthians chapter 2. We're better off suffering for righteousness sake, man. And dying for it if necessary. Right? The book of First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 9. And it reads, But as it is written. And it's written. I, I want to say that's Isaiah 64. Lord willing, we'll go get that too. But as it is written. I have not seen nor ear heard. Neither have entered into the heart, right? Into the mind. Remember that word heart in the Hebrew is lab, which is your mind, right? Neither have entered into the heart or mind of man the things which Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai hath prepared for them that love him. You see, there's a lot prepared for those of us that love the Lord. And not just saying we love the Lord, we're showing that we love Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You see? If it comes down to us having to have to shed our blood, hey, that's the ultimate act, okay, of love, man. That's the ultimate act of love, man. Proven through action, man. Love is an action word. Let's go get that. Let's go get that uh, other location where this is written, because it gets even more um, detailed, man. Right, Isaiah sixty-four and Isaiah sixty-four and four. For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived, right? Perceived goes into discern, right? To understand. By the air, neither have the eye seen, O Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, beside thee. What he hath prepared for him that waited for him. See? Hey, and hey, that's the enduring. Enduring it goes into suffer. The weight, that's suffering, man. Hey, but we're like those that we're like a faithful dog at the door waiting for the owner to come back home, man. That's how we're waiting for Yahweh Shai to come crack these clouds, man. We're waiting for Yahweh Shai to come through. He said he was coming. Yahweh Shai said he was coming in, in, in many locations in the scriptures, man. He got us, man. We just got to stay locked in. And I speak to myself first and foremost, man. We serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, man. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, where it's coined, uh, and what's that? Uh, Second Ezra is eight. That His throne is inestimable, man. His throne is uncalculable. Can't even calculate the throne of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai told Thomas that his father got his father got many mansions, man. Let's go get that real quick in John. Let's go get that real quick. The book of John, St. John chapter 14. Let's start from the top. This is red letter too. So it's Yahweh Shai speaking. Let not your heart. He's speaking to Thomas, but the, hey, we can translate this right to us, man. Through the spirit, right? Let not your heart or your mind, right? Be troubled. Ye believe in Yahweh. Believe also in me, right? Because remember, Yahweh, Yahweh gave all power to Yahweh Shai over heaven and in earth, man. He has full authority, man. The only one over Yahweh Shai is Yahweh, his father. And we come in, hey, and we come in that authority. You see? Verse 2, St. John 14 and 2. In my father's house are many mansions, man. What's this mean? Then Yahweh Shai say, uh, heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool, man. Isn't that written then? Yahweh say that? Do I do the prophet Isaiah? Let me go get this real quick. And we'll come back. The book of Isaiah, chapter 66, 
in verse 1 and it reads, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool, man. Hey, there's many, there's many planets that are livable, man. You see, those many mansions are going to other planets, man. Other, other inhabitable planets. You think the Israelites are gonna are gonna be immortal and only live on planet Earth? No, man. What do you think them chariots are for? <laughs> hey, we're gonna be able to go from galaxy to galaxy, man. Universe to universe. This is why it says what it says in uh, Isaiah 64 and 1 Corinthians going into uh, what the Lord has prepared for us. We can't even we can't even understand, man. We can't even discern it, man. You know, hey, we can't even understand those bodies we're about to get and how they operate and how they need to be clean. You know, we don't know if we have to wash ourselves and. Uh, you know, precious stone, man, <laughs> and metals, man, like gold and platinum and amethyst and, uh, you know, agate and <laughs> all types of, you know what I mean? Like, because our body, we're going to be in league with the stones, man, and we're going to be operating on a whole different vibration, under a whole different vibration, man. We're going to have control over the elements. You see, we're going to be like gods, man, little Yahweh Shai's, completely perfect. See, we can't, we can't even wrap our mind around that right now. You know? Hey, here it is. The Lord gave Esau the, the, the fatness of the earth. Yeah, we're going to get that too as it's written. But you can imagine, he's, the Lord's going to go all out for his chosen. You know, he ain't going to just leave us with the earth. Nah, we got, we're got we going to have them chariots, man. Hovering over our palaces, man. They ain't going to just be there to look pretty. No, we're going to be able to get up out of here, man. Make moves. You know how Jake likes to move around. Hey, Jake likes to move around, man. <laughs> you know, let's get this from the top. Isaiah 66 and 1. Thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool, man. Ain't, this ain't nothing to the Lord. Where is the house that ye built unto me? And where is the place of my rest, man? <laughs> you know, hey, let's get one more. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai ain't no joke, man. And this is the power that we serve, man. The true creator of all heavens and earth. The book of Psalms, chapter 104, and verse 1 and 2. I'm going to get 2 as well. And it reads, Bless the Lord, O my soul. Verse 2 is the point. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my power. And I believe this is the Psalm of David. Thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Who covers thyself with light as with a garment. Wrap your head around that, man. Amen. Who covers thyself with light as with a garment, man. Going into that inestimable uh, throne, right? Who stretches out the heavens like a curtain. Come on now. We're going to have access, Akiyam and Akwaf. We're going to have access, man. Hey, this is what we're fighting for. This is just a few things that we're fighting for, man. And hey, there's so many things we can sit here and mention. Sovereignty, slaves, everlasting dominion. Let's go back to that John 14. Shit. Let's close out here. The book of John chapter 14. Let's start from verse 1 and it reads, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in, in Yahweh, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Look at that. Yahweh Shai, man. Since we've been in captivity, Yahweh Shai has been making moves, man. Yahweh Shai hasn't just been sitting up, you know. Uh, it says that he's on the right hand of the Lord. He ain't, gonna, he ain't just sitting there the whole time. Now, Yahweh Shai has been making moves, man. Why do you think these scientists, they, they spotted another uh, another planet with one of these big ass telescopes they got, uh, that looks like it has water on the planet. You know, and they, 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 <laughs> hey, and it's beautiful because Yahweh Bashim Shah is tempting them. He's letting them see it, and you know, <laughs> and through through the spirit, you know, he's putting it in arm reach for them. Like, you know, this is why Esau got an extravagant 
uh, long, drawn out, you know, signings program. You're trying their hardest to get through that Van Allen belt, man. But the Lord's not going to let them. You demons are not going to get past that radiation belt, man. You're going to do all your destruction in inner orbit with the space trash, and that's about it. You can pollute the oceans, and you through. That's all you got. You ain't going outside of this. You see? The son of perdition. You are not going outside of this. This is all you got, right? In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. See, Yahweh is coming back, man. And receive you unto myself, man. He's coming back for his elect. That where I am, there ye may be also, man. You see, hey, so this is hey, this is what we're fighting for, man. We're fighting to be in the councils with Yahweh Shai, man, to be able to, you know, be so close to him, to be able to see him breathing, man. To be able to drink wine with him. You know, to be able to look him in his eye and speak with him and consult with him and take counsel with him, man. You know, being part of that governing body, man. Hey, this is, hey, if, if you believe, this is what we're, hey, if you believe, hey, you understand what we're, what we're doing this for, man. You know, hey, we're doing the work of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, man. And like the beautiful brother said, man, it was very inspirational, man. We don't want to be like them niggas, man. Them niggas, they, hey, they failed the mission, man. We want to be like Yahweh Shai, hey, it is done. It is done, Lord. And Abba Rathazah, he said, hey, good job, my faithful servant. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwedash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam. And Akwaf were edified. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Kal Halalim La Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash, Shalawam.